Uh, here we go. Uh, we can just start from here. So I'm going to start from scratch because this was just a cube. Now the displaced map shouldn't matter, but I believe that I had that cube at 10. So, and then we'll lift it up five. And then I'm also going to make a ground plane just for lighting, um, just for lighting in, in random man. Uh, and I'm also going to do this also for mental ray. So I'll do two, two talks, but first we'll just do it for mental ray. Sorry for random man. I've got the shelf up, so let's do this. Okay. So the first thing I have to do in, in render man is to go attributes render man, uh, subdiv scheme. Now we have to be on the cube shape to do that. That's just meaning that this is making it into a subdivisible uh, surface object, which you can see there. That's our scheme that we're using new internal only, old style, new style, no corners. Uh, we can have a little bit of a play with that, but for now that's good. Now, the next thing I'm just going to click that button, that's just so render man ma made sure that render man has loaded, but it, it usually is pretty good. So we're going to be using wrists for this, which is the new render man renderer. And we're going to just select those objects and go right click here on this shader group. And we're gonna assign a diffuse shader group that just will assign a shader that is 50% gray. Um, nice and easy for us to start with uh, to, to view our images. Okay, so once that's done, we wanna create a light. And so we can just click on that and create a light, bring it up, make it big. Uh, and start to do this. And then of course we can start to see what our object's like. So I can, you can uh, press the, the three key or the control alt three key if you're using my hotkeys and uh, we can hit render. Sorry, not that one. Uh, five key and my hotkeys brings up render view and then options. And usually like I, I like to do a snapshot that just shows me how big I'm rendering. Often I'll be rendering at different resolutions. Uh, we could go 75% in this case, just using the default sort of HD res. And uh, let's just go straight to an IPR and we can st see that in real life, sorry, in real time. And we need to switch this up uh, with our exposure just a little bit, so to see it a little bit more clearly. So that's a really basic lighting setup here that we've got going. We could do a number of other things. We could put an IBL on this, which I might do just quickly. IBLs are great because they give you a, a very quick uh, you know, look to your images. So we're going to come into here and I'm going to use the, eight, the, the high res HDR just because I'm a bit lazy. Let's do that one. Open wait for that and we've now got HDR in there. I'm also going to come back to this light, put, make sure it's exposure is at one and then we're going to switch back to a distant light. So I can see that the shadow is kind of here. Now that uh, does need to have a refresh. So we just, when we change big things, we need to have a refresh and I'm just going to roughly place that where it was uh, in the image, which I believe is somewhere around there. We can, uh, take off the primary visibility. I'll try that again. Uh, it's not working, primary visibility. Let's leave that. Uh, what am I gonna do? Take that down, the exposure off, and we can see that that's where the shadow was. So then bring that back up again to one and roughly here. Okay, so we roughly got our IBL dome, so sort of set up with the sunlight coming from where the sunlight should be. go. Okay, so that's uh, set up the scene ready for us to do some testing. 